Every year on the 17th of March, people all over the world celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Places like Dublin and Ireland, New York in the USA, and Tokyo in Japan hold enormous parades with dancers, musical bands, and giant parade floats. Some cities even use lights to turn buildings emerald green. In Chicago, in the US, they use dye to turn the river green. But what's this all got to do with St. Patrick? Well, St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland, an island long known for its green hills and fields. But it might surprise you to know that Patrick was born in Britain, rather than Ireland, about 1,500 years ago. And he didn't choose to go to Ireland. You could say, Ireland chose him. When Patrick was just a teenager, he was kidnapped by pirates, taken across the Irish Sea, sold as a slave, and put to work looking after animals. Lonely and afraid, Patrick turned to his Christian faith to help him through this dark time. One night, Patrick dreamt that a ship was ready and waiting to take him home. When he awoke, he summoned all his courage and escaped to the coast, where he really did find a ship about to set sail. After six long years, he was reunited with his family. Patrick's Christian faith had grown during his time in captivity, and he decided to become a priest. It was around this time Patrick had another dream, in which he heard voices crying out for him to return to Ireland. He decided that this was a sign from God, and that he should do all he could to spread the Christian faith in Ireland. By the time he returned, Patrick had become a bishop. Now, Ireland wasn't an easy place to convert people to Christianity. Most people were pagans, which means they already had their own religion, with lots of different gods. This meant that no matter what Patrick did, he was in constant danger. But he still travelled far and wide, converting people to Christianity wherever he went. And he was so popular, some other bishops even got jealous. We know this because of his book, called the Confessio, which Patrick wrote towards the end of his life. In it, he describes his early life and his time in Ireland. Even though it was written over 1,500 years ago, Historians believe it gives a clear idea of what his life was like, but it does have some bits that could be untrue, like the bit where he says he brought people back from the dead. In fact, there are many stories about St. Patrick that may have just been made up. One legend is that Patrick used the shamrock to teach people about the Holy Trinity, with the three leaves meaning the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Another story is that Patrick was responsible for driving all the snakes out of Ireland, but snakes were never there in the first place. There's even a legend that Patrick saved a group of hungry sailors who were shipwrecked, completely out of food. Supposedly, Patrick heard about their plight and prayed deeply for their safety. And suddenly, just as the sailors had lost hope, a group of pigs miraculously appeared. Whether these stories are true or not, we do know that by the time he was old, Patrick had founded monasteries, created schools, and had helped people make Ireland into a Christian country, just as he had planned. As Irish people travelled and settled around the world, they brought the story of St. Patrick with them to many different countries, where he continues to be remembered and celebrated today along with the Irish culture and heritage he is part of.